How to use Spreadshirt Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Spreadshirt. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to Spreadshirt.com or you can simply click the link on the description below. And you will be directed on this page and from here it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Spreadshirt, it is an online platform that allows individuals and businesses to design, customize, and sell a variety of personalized products, particularly custom apparel and accessories, in which it is often associated with custom t-shirts, but it offers a range of other customizable items as well. And some of the features that this platform provides including custom product design, online design tools, marketplace for designers, e-commerce, custom clothing and apparel, bulk orders, and many more. And now to start accessing this platform, just proceed by clicking this button on the top panel that says Start Selling. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And below here, it will show you the two options which is to open your own spread shop or to sell on the marketplace. But before that, if you scroll down below here, it will show you some of the products that you could also do or customize and also some of the feature of opening your own spread shop and selling to this marketplace. And in this option, I'm going to choose to sell on the marketplace. So kind of click on this button right here. And after that, all you need to do is to sign in using your Google account or your email account. And you will be directed on this page in which this is what the dashboard looks like of Spreadshirt.com and you will see here on the left side panel some of the options or icon that you could also navigate while under this dashboard you will see here your checklist or some of the things that you need to fill out or the tasks that you need to do in setting up your store you will also see here some of the notifications your balances and you can even track your success in here while under the design option on the left side panel by simply clicking on it from here, this is the option in which you can upload your design and start creating your own products. While under the statistics option, from here, it will show you the data, including the amount of your credits, your history transactions, your sales, design, and best sellers. And aside from that, you could also navigate on the website panel, the tips and tools option, in which by simply clicking on it, from here, it will show you some of the tips in order to boost your sale and even improve your marketplace products. And aside from that, you could also navigate on the left side panel, the notifications option. In which from here, it will show you some of the notification lists, including the announcement, marketplace news, weekly sales, projected design, and product news. While under the showroom settings, it will allow you to customize and manage your own showroom, which is a collection of products that you can display on your Spreadshirt marketplace profile. And you could also navigate the setup a spread shop and by clicking on it it will show you a pop-up window and all you need to do is to simply enter the name of your shop and proceed by clicking open shop button in order to set up your spread shop and after that the next thing that you need to do is to pick a shop team that is offered for free on this platform and after clicking the select button right here you will be directed on this page and from here you will see on the left side panel of it that you can start customizing some of the layout, design, content, and even logo, and other details of this team. And after that, to save the changes, just click the Save button on the top right corner. And aside from that, you could also navigate the Account option on the left side panel, in which from here, it will show you some of your contact info upon creating an account on this platform. And now, to start selling a products, the first thing that we need to do is to simply click the design options. And from here, all we need to do is to upload the design in order to start creating our products. But make sure the design that you will import has a file type of JPEG, PNG, GIF, and other recommended file type. And after uploading your design, it will show you in here. And now, to start using this design, all you need to do is to simply clicking on it and you will be directed on this page. And from here, it will show you the two options, but since we're trying to sell in our shop, kindly turn on this one. But you could also choose to sell on your marketplace by turning the spread shirt. 
and after clicking the next button on the top right corner, you will be directed on this page in which below, it will show you the design products or some of the products with your design on it. We have here men's premium t-shirt, men's shirt, women's t-shirts, mug, a water bottle with a design on it, women's hoodie, and many more. And from here, if you want to choose to edit the design, all you need to do is to simply clicking on it. So let's say I'm going to choose this tote bag. And from here, to customize the design, you can use some of the editing tools that you can find on the left side panel. So let's say I'm going to choose to customize the design size. By dragging on the corner of it, it will show you that the size has now been changed. And now we could also change the product color that we prefer. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. And aside from that, you could also customize the print areas, including the front of it and the back of it. Now going back to the design option, from here you could even choose the center design as vertically or horizontally. And after then customizing, just click the done button on the top right corner in order to save the changes. And now going back to this page, we could also select other products that we want to customize or you can delete some of the product by clicking the X button on the corner of it. And you can leave all of those products that you want to sell on your shop with your design on it. And after selecting your products, all you need to do is to simply click the next button on the top right corner. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And below here, you could even customize the design name, the description of it, and even input a tags on it. So let's say under the design name, I'm going to input here or enter here one piece. Since that is the name of the anime show that we just select as our design. And it says here that design name is important since it will be used as a design headline as the title line in Google search results and in the URL of your design. So it should be short, clear, and to the point. While well, under the description, from here, you can input or enter a maximum of 200 words since this description will appear in the link previews on Google, Facebook, and other channel, as well as in design details on your sales channels. While under the tag, you can simply enter here some of the tag about your design. So let's say I'm going to choose anime, comic, design, and other tags since this tag ensures that your design can be found when people look for it on search engines. And after filling out all of the required information, just proceed by clicking the Create button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this dashboard in which it will show you some of your checklists that has been done. And from here, you will see that we have now created our own products and also set up our spread shop. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we could also choose your spread name and also activate the spread shop. But now, in order to check if the product that we just customize are now part of our spread shop, all you need to do is to simply click our spread shop or shop settings on the left side panel. In which from here, it will show you some of the list of your products with your design on it. So now you can now start selling on your spread shop. So that is just how you can use a spread shirt. Thank you.